know how incredibly happy I am to be sitting here filming this for so many reasons. First, it is the Sephora savings event. It is the best time of the year for multiple reasons. Who doesn't want to save some money at Sephora? I'm super excited that this video is actually in collaboration with Sephora. I like it's, I can't believe it, it's a dream come true. I haven't done a favorites video in quite some time and I have all new favorites. As per usual, I'm going to pick like a few things from each category that are like my ride or die. This video is going to be a little bit different from my other Sephora recommendation videos in the past because I'm actually going to show you guys me putting it on, do a little get ready with me. And then for each category, I'm going to also talk about the other products I recommend. The Sephora savings event is going on from April 14th to April 24th. If you are a Sephora Rouge member, you get 20% off starting on the 14th. If you are a VIB member, you get 15% off starting on the 18th. And if you are a Sephora Insider, you get 10% off starting on the 18th as well. Also really important, the Sephora collection is going to be 30% off, which is amazing. They have some amazing things. I actually picked up and like this has been like a favorite of mine. Their complete brush set I've been using. I how small the brushes are. Um, they fit in your makeup bag. So their entire collection is going to be 30% off. Everyone can use their coupon as many times as they want and you can also get free shipping or you can use the coupon in store. If you are not yet a Sephora insider, make sure to use my link in the description to sign up so you can save some money. Let's jump into it, starting with skincare. So skincare has been a passion of mine recently. Um, I've struggled more with my skin since the end of last summer than I have my whole life. I have some breakouts going on now. These are definitely hormonal breakouts, but even on my forehead, like I have just had to really adapt my whole skincare routine and I finally found some things that I are game changer products. First two products are both from Paula's Choice and these are products I've used for years and years and years and they're products that whenever I stop using them and come back to them, I'm like, why did I ever stop? I noticed such a difference. So this is the 2% BHA liquid. I feel like this is a cult favorite. Everyone loves it. This, I have to say, 100% is what helped clear up like all the little bumps on my forehead that weren't fungal acne related. It keeps my skin looking super clear, my pores looking tight. This is like a magic potion in a bottle. Um, and then I also love their Red It All. I've been using both of these, I wanna say for six or seven years now. They're affordable, they're amazing. You really can't beat them. The face wash I can't stop using is the Tatcha Rice Polish Classic. Why was that? I that was like my fifth time trying to say that. It is their rice cleanser, and what's really cool is it's actually a powder. So you pop it open, and you pour some in your hand, and then you mix it with water, and then it creates like a nice little exfoliant, or you can continue lathering it, and it creates like a nice milk. I use this pretty much every day, and just depending on the day, I'll either like you make it more exfoliating or not, but this really cleanses your skin. I feel like it's gentle, and I love the exfoliating aspect of it. Another product from Tatcha that I cannot stop raving about is the Indigo Overnight Repair Cream. I'm actually all out of this. I definitely need to pick up another one during the spring savings event because it is a little bit on the pricey side, but this is the best hydrating cream ever. I don't just use this at nighttime. I also use this during the day. If you need a really nice, thick moisturizing cream, this is the best one that I've come across. Another skincare product that I use every single morning is the Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. Moisturizer. So this is a product my sister actually recommended to me. So I have very dry skin So I take all the moisturizing products I can get I definitely notice a difference in how my skin feels during the day when I use this versus when I don't I feel like it's just that first extra added layer of Moisture kind of like a drink of water for your skin nighttime I will use this as my toner and then in the morning I will use this to kind of calm my skin and moisturize my skin as well another really intense moisturizing product that I talk about rave about all the time is the f-bomb electrolyte water facial mask from drunk elephant this is actually the second bottle I have I use this more so in the summer because while it's hydrating it's not as like oily it's definitely more of like a gel I feel like this is the best primer to use before makeup ever I use this in the summer this is really my go-to moisturizer because it's really nice lightweight but so incredibly moisturizing I don't know if this is necessarily skincare but I picked up the tan luxe the face illuminating self-tan drops I don't have it on 
right now. I'm actually very pale right now. <laughs> but this is the best face fake tan I've ever tried. I mix like three or four drops depending on how tan I want to be with my face cream um, at nighttime and it literally just makes you look like you have been in the Mediterranean. Perfect color, not orangey, definitely has that brown undertone, but just don't use too much of it because I've made that mistake before. Less is more when it comes to this product because if used too much, it will start to look a little bit fake tanny. And then I do quickly want to talk about my Foreo Bear. This is the mini bear, but basically this is going to deliver like electrode shocks into your muscle and lift your face, tighten your face. This is really, really good for helping put my puffiness. I wake up so puffy in the morning, it's because I can't give up my salt. I can't give it up my cheese, my salty foods. Like I wake up bloated like a puffer fish and I don't even care because to me, it's worth it. Okay, moving into foundation, I quickly wanna talk about this combo right here. This is the Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drop. You guys have probably all heard about these. I have loved these for years. This I use just mixed in with my moisturizer if I'm going like literally running right out the door and just need a little bit on my face um, because it adds like a little bit of a tan glow not too much but what i really love doing is mixing these together this is the best tinted moisturizer on the planet ever 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 this is the summer fridays sheer tint my all my makeup is dirty <laughs> i'm just gonna preface it by saying my makeup looks like a toddler has been playing with it um it's because i apply my makeup with my hands so it gets dirty but this, i have the shade four in this this has a very very bare minimum coverage but something about the finish and everything is just perfect now when it comes to foundation foundation i've been loving these two and i've really been loving these two mixed this i'm not going to talk a lot about because i've literally i feel like i talk about this in every favorites video it's the nars light reflecting foundation i use the shade punjab this is like my 10th bottle of it best foundation on the planet i know there's some people that don't love it but really like the makeup by mario foundation doesn't even compare this is the best whenever i use it i truly feel my best but i recently have been loving the safe foundation this i feel like has a lighter coverage than this one this one actually surprisingly has a lot of coverage i feel like the safe foundation is a good middle ground between the two today i'm going to go in and mix the two of these i'm going to do one pump of the safe foundation i have the shade 10 so i'm going to mix this up and just dot it all over my face and then i like really using my fingers to blend the foundation in something about the warmth of my fingers does something magical with this foundation Okay, moving on to concealer. I am like a concealer junkie and I'm pretty picky when it comes to my concealer. I like that. I like when it's hydrating, but still kind of has like a satin matte finish. The three that I use the most, the Hourglass Concealer, I have the shade Oat, the Urban Decay Stay Naked Quickie Concealer. This is a new one from them and I've been loving it recently. And then my tried and true Holy Grail Concealer is the Huda Concealer best concealer on the planet like I don't care what anyone says this is the one I will always come back to and just I feel like I don't need that much of it um and sometimes I do like a concealer combo then I'm going to add a little bit of the quickie concealer from Urban Decay Urban Decay really like did amazing things <laughs> with this concealer I feel like for so long I haven't really even looked at Urban Decay and what they've been releasing. This concealer is really good. This brush pointless, like who, I, I see what they were trying to do. My preferred method of blending my concealer out is with a beauty blender. Another product I've been really loving is the Rare color corrector so I actually don't use this the same way or like most people do or the way I think it's intended to be used because I don't know I like putting it on top as like a really brightening finishing touch I'll put literally the smallest amount right under my eye I feel like that just really opens up my eye and brightens it and I love the finish of the product I am a cream contour connoisseur I have probably tried everyone on the market and this is the one that I've been absolutely loving recently it is the tower 28 sculptino bronzer in the color getty this reminds me of the tom ford cream contour that was five million dollars it is the same really creamy consistency 
the perfect brown color and it just blends into your skin like nobody's business. So actually I don't even apply that with my fingers. I've been loving the Patrick Ta sculpting brush. I'm trying to get my hands on the nose contour one, but the, this cream contour is pretty much the only one I'm going to recommend to you because it's the only one I've been using since I got it. I also like the Merit cream contour. I feel like that one's good for travel. It's a little bit more convenient. My lips are so dry. I'm gonna put on this Lawless Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask, which I was gonna wait to talk about at the end, but it is the best lip mask ever. It doesn't really plump, like my lips are plump. They do not need to get any bigger, but it makes them look so hydrated and glowy and it tastes amazing. It smells amazing. Like this is a must have product for me. You guys are going to be so shocked by this, but my Charlotte Tilbury powder airbrush flawless finish powder has been replaced by the Kozis cloud set powder. I have the shade breezy. I don't know what's going on with the top of it, but this has quickly replaced that. I'm just going to go in with one of the Sephora brushes. And I use a brush to set this all in. And what I really like about this powder is that I feel like it kind of like sets your face, but doesn't add another layer of product or powder. It feels so lightweight and perfect, honestly. The only thing I don't love about this powder is the packaging. I find it very bulky considering this is the NARS powder, like look at the difference. I still do enjoy a good bake on my face. I feel like it just makes your makeup look so flawless and you guys are not going to be surprised by my recommendation at all. It is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder. I have the shade Pound Cake um, and this I've been using for months and I've never used a powder like it. It makes your skin look airbrushed flawless and it makes your makeup last perfectly all day. I'm not kidding. For eyebrows, I'm using the Precisely My Brow Pencil. I've just used this for years and years and years. I like pretty much all eyebrow pencils I try. I use the shade three and it just really is the perfect shade for my eyebrows and that's why I keep coming back to it. I'm not picky when it comes to my eyebrow pencil, but it's the color. I always just put bronzer in my crease um, so I'm using Hoola. It's my go-to bronzer. I love how it looks. It's the perfect color. I like using bronzer in my crease because I feel like it makes a very cohesive look. Um, and I kind of try to blend it into this area here to really give a lifted look. And then with the same fluffy brush with whatever is left over, I'll go down the sides of my nose and just do a little contour. The only eyeshadow I'm going to recommend to you is the Moon Dust Urban Decay Eyeshadow in the color Space Cowboy. Kind of just puts a wash of sparkle on your eye. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see that, but it is beautiful. For my eyeliner, you guys, I've talked about this so many times. The only brown eyeliner you really need in your life is the Makeup by Mario eyeliner in one of their brown colors. They have soft brown and perfect brown. I feel like they're pretty similar, but what I like about them is that they are a true brown. They're not a brown black. I also really like um, the KVD Tattoo Pencil Liner in Axonite Brown. This is also a true brown. This is KVD. This is Makeup by Mario. They are a true, true brown. I use the KVD one for like night. I use KVD at nighttime when I want my eyeliner to really stay in place. It is definitely my longest lasting eyeliner. Like it will last until you wash it off. But this one just blends so easily and goes on so easily. It's the perfect color. So I just do a little line and it is so natural. Like I said, the perfect color during the day and then I also put it on my inner corner another brown pencil that I love and this is the one I throw in my makeup bag is the makeup forever artist color pencil in the shade limitless brown what I like about this one is that you can use it as an eyeliner and a lip liner so sometimes um, if I want like a deeper darker lip if I'm going like out or I just feel like my lip color is not doing it for me I can use this as a lip liner and like blend it out. It's very blendable But I can also put it as an eyeliner because it's like a nice deep dark brown color. That's definitely a must-have
have for my makeup bag. I, another thing I love about this Makeup by Mario pencil is the little brush on the end. I pick up some bronzer and I use it to do my lower lash line. It's like the perfect brush to do that with and then I kind of blend it into the liner. For mascara, really this one has just stolen the show, replaced all other mascaras in my collection. It is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Brown Mascara. So right now I have my eyelashes tinted, so I don't know if you'll be able to see it perfectly, but it is the best brown mascara I've ever tried. Let's put some bronzer on because I'm looking so ghostly. You guys know my favorite bronzer brush is the Morphe M527 brush. I'm just gonna go in with the Hoola bronzer. I really pack it on there and then blend it in. Someone in my house is making bacon and it smells so good and then I kind of like sweep it like this to kind of give like a sun-kissed look and across my nose Then you guys the magical finishing powder is the makeup by Mario soft sculpt transforming skin perfecter I used to use this as my bronzer and then I would go outside look in a mirror I look like Edward Cullen like it was glistening like I've never seen before so now I kind of just swirl my brush in there and put a little on top and this really adds that like glowy filter like effect to your skin without being too much just <laughs> learn from me learn from my mistakes go in with a light hand for blush I have two that I need to recommend to you the first is the one I've recommended a million times it is the blush please glow play blush from Mac so it's kind of like a creamy blush which is my preferred um, blush what is the word I'm looking for? Formula. Um, it is amazing. But then, okay, I saw Patrick Todd do Alex Earl's makeup, and I believe he used She's So LA, but I loved that he put powder and then cream. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this powder. I also have the Patrick Todd blush trio. I don't like it. It's too pigmented. Something's just off with that palette. So I'll go and put some blush, go in with my beauty blender and pick up some of the cream blush. It's not too pigmented, um, but it adds like a nice dewy sheen on top and gives you a really, really beautiful glow. I'm just realizing I don't have a highlight here. I can't even think of one that I've been really using that much recently, so I don't even know if I have one to recommend to you. I really like the Charlotte Tilbury highlighters, but I just find them a little, a lot, a little bit a lot. Moving on to lips, which is the biggest portion of this video. Um, I am very incredibly passionate about nude lip combos. I'm just gonna say it right now, the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip liners are my absolute favorite at the moment. They are long lasting. I like that you have to sharpen them so you can get a really nice point and the colors are amazing. I have the shade Hazelnut, Cool Brown, and deep tote. I'm gonna swatch them for you so you guys can see the difference. I love them all equally. Don't ask me to pick a favorite because I don't have one. That's like asking me to pick a favorite child. Deep taupe, hazelnut, and cool brown. So I'm gonna go in with the shade deep taupe and line my lip. I only really line the center part and I don't overline them because I would look crazy. And then I go in with Cool Brown, which is the darkest color, and literally only put the tiniest amount on the center of my lips. And I blend that in with my finger. This is another new discovery of mine. It's the Makeup by Mario New Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Color. I have the shade Soft Nude, and I just apply this. It's like a lipstick lip gloss in one. It's the perfect color, perfect nude lip combo. This is probably my favorite lipstick, lip gloss, anything that has come out in a long time. It is really glossy, but has a lot of coverage. It has a slight plumping feeling, but I don't notice like any plump really. But the color is the best nudie brownie pink color I've ever seen on a product like this. I either find them too pink or too orangey or too beige, but this is like the perfect 
combination, best of both worlds. Now I wanna quickly go through some other lip products that I've been absolutely loving. So this is the Give Lip Contour from Gwen Stefani's brand. What I love so much about this is the shade of the product. This is really great for contouring your lips if you wanna give that really nice pouty look. The shape of the pencil is really unique and it also has a little brush on the end which I just I forgot about until right now. I also really love the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in the shade Honey Beige. This is just what it looks like. I love the consistency of this lip liner and it lasts for ever for lipsticks my go-to you guys are also going to be so surprised by this is no longer nude kate from charlotte tilbury it's actually kkw i like this one because it has a little bit more of a pinky tint to it and then i also really love the huda beauty lipstick in the shade buttercup this is kkw and this is buttercup this is my ride or die lipstick my security blanket i don't go anywhere without it is the armani lip power i think it's called in the shade 102 i'm almost done Okay, so I need to order one stat because if I run out of this, bad things will happen. I know bad things will happen. Um, it's the perfect nudie. It is really the perfect, it is really the perfect nudie beige color. It is really the perfect nudie pink color, but what I like about this, it is actually has a shine to it. So if I don't have gloss on hand or if I want something to just like zhuzh up my lips, that's the perfect addition. Balm, and then I also need to talk about this lip balm. It is the, it's from Westman Atelier. It's a squeaky clean liquid lip balm in the shade i want to say it was something weird like coco or nana or something like that so if you're wondering how this compares to the makeup by mario the makeup by mario has so much more coverage it is definitely more of like a lipstick whereas this one is more of a lip balm it has a really nice pink nudie pink shade they both have a really nice glossy finish this is the westman atelier this is the makeup by mario but the westman atelier lip balm is definitely more sheer and speaking of gloss my absolute favorite lip gloss is actually the sephora collection lip gloss this is in their clear shade it just has some like lipstick and lip liner in it but their lip glosses are the shiniest the best lip glosses ever and the best lip balm i'm sorry i told you i had a lot of lip products is the summer fridays lip balm moving on to hair the only product i need to talk about is the color wow dream coat spray this i think is chris appleton's brand but oh my gosh this is a product i could not live without this you apply every three to four shampoos you apply it on damp hair and you have to really saturate your hair and then you must blow dry it so the key is that you have to activate it with heat and this will like make your hair the softest smoothest you've ever felt it and it really helps with texture it really helps with frizziness i feel like it helps with damage like making my hair look less damaged but oh my gosh you guys until you try this product and you see how it transforms your hair like you won't understand moving on to body this is actually not a body product it's a hand product it is the fenty skin hydra reset intensive recovery hand mask dry skin especially in the winter time i have like the driest skin ever hand cream is the best hand cream i've ever tried i love the little like nozzle thing but what's really cool is that you put it on and it feels like really nice and hydrating and then it kind of like disappears and doesn't leave your hand feeling greasy or like gross definitely going to be picking this up during the sale the necessary body wash i'm done i've finished like 20 of these i absolutely love it i normally get eucalyptus but i think i'm going to get sandalwood i love it my boyfriend loves it it's just the best body wash you guys can see in the back i'm a perfume fiend i love them but the one i could not stop wearing recently is angel share by killian so i actually did a collab with them which was like a total pinch me moment definitely for me a nighttime or winter scent but it is spicy it is delicious but yeah that's really the only fragrance i've been using recently and i absolutely love it wow i absolutely talked your ear off there i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you'll be picking up down below in the comments but also let me know what you think i should pick up i don't need any more makeup or any more products but if there's something you think i absolutely need definitely leave it in the comments down below as per usual i will leave everything linked down below don't forget to sign up to become a beauty insider if you have not signed up already at sephora um thank you guys so much for watching i love you and i'll see you guys back here next time